to um, give you a quick biography of myself. Um, I've been in the state of Texas for roughly three years, and originally where I'm from is a lot more fish with grits, and here is a lot more brisket with barbecue. <laughs> uh, the food is different, but it still tastes the same. It still reminds me of home in Georgia, and, and while Georgia is on my mind, uh, <laughs> being in Texas uh, reminds me that here is now is my home. Uh, I graduated from the University of Georgia in 2008. My college years, I played football and ran track my freshman year. And after that, I focused on football. And with that, I got the opportunity to be a professional in football. I played while well, I um, <clears throat> signed with the Pittsburgh Steelers in April of 2009. I was with them for roughly three months, and I got released. And instead of me um, trying to focus on football once again, I went back to what I did my freshman year, and that is uh, track. So I knew a coach here in Texas. I knew my sister, who was a freshman here at the University of Texas, who also ran track. So that's what prompted me to move into Texas. So I moved here, and that's what brought me to Texas. Uh, moving to Texas, I left my girlfriend in Georgia. And a few months later, moving to, being here in Texas, I left my fiance in Georgia. And a few months later, I had my wife with me here in Texas. <laughs> So I'm thankful for my wife being in the same state as me and also supporting me. One big part of my life then when I moved to Texas and still is a big part of my life is and what sharpens me and shapes me to who I am today is my faith. I wanted to continue moving forward in my faith and that's what <coughs> brought me here to seminary. Attending this school has given me the opportunity to strengthen my faith and pursue God's word while gaining a deeper understanding of Christian theology. Another reason for me attending this school was simply because I am inquisitive by nature. Um, I naturally have many questions, and attending this school while challenging and equally intriguing is still fun in a sense because I get to ask all the questions that I always wanted to ask. <laughs> I've learned many things here, but one thing that sticks out in my mind is the process of learning how to find answers. Uh, I took a course here with Dr. Peterson, British apologist. Um, in that class, we read a lot of books, and I say a lot of books. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, within that course, I learned a lot of things. Um, one, one particular we read was Orthodoxy with G.K. Chesterton. And in that book, um, he wrote a statement that if any frightened courage a clergyman still says that it would be awful if the darkness of free thoughts should spread. We can only answer him with the high and powerful words, do not, I beseech you, be troubled. By the increase of forces of the already dissolution, you are mistaken the hour of night, for it is already day. So to make sense of that statement, Chesterton says, it is time we gave up looking for questions and began looking for answers. And what that did for me and what I took from that was, we are curious and have many questions, but through that, through our studies, we can find the answers. And that is something that I can take with me and that I learned with me, learned here at seminary. And, um, I all, and, and what I focused on is, although that we are ones with questions that we ask to others, we eventually answer our own questions. Through our studies, we learn, we form our interpretation, we form our theology, and we begin to see the answers to our questions that we previously asked. And we become scholars in a sense. We learn how that we have an adequate and educated opinion so we can form that and we have a voice. And I plan on using this voice in a positive manner. I probably want to educate others about the Christian faith, helping, serving others in outreach, ministry, volunteer work, and in my daily walk. I said earlier that my wife is with me in the same state, and she is, and she's actually in her first year in medical school at UTMB in Galveston, Texas. So what I want to do is uh, further my education in law. So I plan on attending law school that is at least in walking distance to where she is now. So <laughs> I know that in some way what I gain here will benefit me in my further education in law and in my life. Thank you. Yeah.